If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel so that YouTube will promote my videos. Thank you. In part two, I'm going to talk about the floor design and also the bow plan. This is the cross section of the canoe, which looks very similar to the Gen 14 kayak. In my other video, I talk about wrapping around the coil plus and using zip tie to create a pocket where we can insert the PVC pipe. I didn't talk about how long this piece need to be. All you need just about two to three inches. It would be sufficient to allow the floor be tacked into this particular slot so that the floor will not be moved. As on the floor, the design is very similar to Gen 14 kayak too. You may need to glue or tape or fuse two more layers to make the floor stronger. Please watch this video here. It gives you a lot more information in making the floor. Let's take a look at the bow plan. If you extend the middle part of Gen 15 and you have a longer bow, and I call it Gen 16. The gunnel design also supports such changes. Gen 12, 14, 15, and 16 are all based on the same design. However, the way to fold these bows are different. Gen 12 and 14 adopted the similar folding method for transportation as the ORU bows. But if the bow is getting longer, this kind of folding method becomes more complicated. This is one of the reasons why I switched the folding method into a box shape instead. This is how I determine the vertical fold lines so that I can fold the boat for transportation. I want to create a folded box size of 48 inches tall, 5 inches wide, and 24 inches deep. I fill the two sheets of corpus to make this 10 feet long bolt. The width of the fused joint, say 2 inches in width. It requires 6 inches to create a joint. I will start at the center and allow the first folded panel at 24 inches wide. Then I will start trying to work out the details as shown here. I will then fold this from left to right and create a rectangular box. The next step is to determine the pocket locations. I create gaps between the pockets. One reason is I may use that gap to secure my cross beam if there's such need. When folded together, I allow the thickness of the pocket to be about one and a half inch. Therefore, I come up with three inches and also 5 inches. And this 3 and 5 inches are being reflected on the plan. In my first Gen 16 design, I have the pockets oriented horizontally and vertically, and this is something I will avoid in my next build. It is because if there's no vertical pockets, I can make the width of the folded panel a bit wider instead of what I have now. And there's a better chance for me to minimize the number of vertical fold lines needed. I would suggest you to adopt the ONAK can use folding method to handle this longer boat. I used a different color to indicate two different corpus sheet being fused together. The yellow are the pockets. I allow one and a half inch as the thickness for each pocket and the overall thickness of the packages at nine inches. You may choose to use one inch to make it thinner. I came across a simple technique when I built Gen 16 and I will share that in my next video. If you find this video useful, please help me to promote this video and allow it to reach more people. Please give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye.